Welcome to week one of Mid-Hudson Library Systems Building Your Base Learning Project. I'm Polly Farrington and I'm really excited to be part of the project. Looking forward to getting to know all of you over the next few weeks. During week one, you're all setting up learning journals that you'll use to share your thoughts and ideas during the project. And this short presentation will help you get started learn setting up your learning journal on Posterous. And Posterous is the tool we decided to use for the learning journals for this project. To get started, go over to your web browser and go to posterist.com and fill in the sign-up form. And of course remember to write down your login information. Posterist will send you a confirmation email, but you can take care of that later. As soon as you fill in that sign-up form, you'll land on the welcome page of Posterist and you take a minute or two and go through go ahead and read through the quick tour to get an overview of how Posterist works. And when you're done with the quick tour, click on the spaces button way up at the top of the screen. That takes you back to your Spaces page, and notice this Posterous has created a space for you based on the username you entered when you signed up. And you'll be able to change that name later on if you want to. But this is the main administration page that you'll end up at when you log in as well. So this is the main page where all your settings and writing of posts and all the other changes you might want to make can be done. And if you get lost in all the settings in Posterous, and there are a lot of them, you can always click on the Spaces button way up at the top of the screen and you'll get back to this main screen. So the first thing you probably want to do is write a new post just to see what your site looks like with some content. So go ahead and use the drop down menu to the right of your space name, click on New Post via Web, and you'll end up on the Create a Post page. Go ahead and write a title and add some content there and you can use the little editing toolbar buttons to bold things and change colors and so on. And when you're all done, click on Publish and that'll take you right out to your public web page, your public space as Posters calls it, and you can see what your test post looks like. And frankly, my test post looks a little boring, so I want to go back to the settings and we're going to add a little more pizzazz. So to manage your site, go up to the right, click on manage, and you're back at that familiar spaces page again. So if you go over to the right, you'll see there's a link for space settings, and by clicking on that, you'll see a page full of settings that are that you can change the look and feel of your site and change privacy and commenting and so forth. Uh, for this one, click on edit theme. This takes you to a screen where you'll see a number of different theme options across the top of the screen. And if you click on one, it'll give you a preview of what your site will look like with that theme. If you want to see more themes, click on See More and you'll see some additional themes. There's about 50, I think, to choose from. And when you're all done and you like the way your site looks, you can click on Save, I'm done. And Postress will ask you to confirm that one more time. And then once again, it'll take you back to your public site. And there's your newly formatted site. Looks a lot better. So now let's go back to the Spaces dashboard and look at some more of the settings. So we're back here and we're going to click on Space Settings again. And this time we're going to look at the section that says Name Your Space. We're going to click on Edit. And the only thing I'm going to change here is my the name of my space. Polyolita Test didn't sound very interesting, so I changed it to Polly's MHLS Learning Journal. And the space URL down here, I'm going to leave that just as it is. This is the public URL or the web page address that you would give to people who you want to have view your site or read your posts. And you want to jot that address down because you'll you need that when you'll be registering your site with the Learning Project e exercise later on. Save your settings. And let's go look at one more setting here, the commenting setting. And the only thing you need to check here is that the setting where it says who can comment on your site. We'd like you to leave that at anyone can comment so that others can leave comments on your post during the learning project. And I also changed the uh, time setting on the screen. So that um, should be enough to get you started with the project. Just remember that you can always get back to this screen by clicking on spaces at the top of your screen. So now take some time to explore Posters a bit more and go through some of the other settings and see what's where and have fun with Posters. And when you're all done, go back to the learning project and finish the exercises for exercise one. See you soon.